so next I want to do something very very interesting let me show you what I want to do let me first make it like this <coughs> I have this uh, assignment this is a big excel sheet now if you remember from the cricket database I had to write everything uh, in so I was uh, just thinking why don't I if I try to copy paste it and see if I can can I first let me try and I can that is very very interesting so now I have all the data in here in this line so I mean that I don't have to um, type it I just have to put commas in there let's get started first uh, let me get rid of this then I have to go to that uh, let's try that in a new window let's save this one here um, save and I should do it really in for the time being should I do it here or somewhere else let's do it there I will move it later on now I'm gonna close this one and this one and I'm gonna open a new query window I'm gonna go into the database this one is MTB so I'm gonna make sh to make it not so complicated I can either work here or I can go in there so if I were to let's work here first select star from E M P D B D B. Let me make my font a little bit bigger so you can see that better. All right, M D B dot. It's gonna be D B O dot employees. D B O dot employees. So if I run it here, it should give me my table. Now I all I have to do is just verify employee number, name, gender, date of birth. Okay, so birthplace is gone. You see that should be at the very end. If I can go there, birthplace. Now can I move it here? gender I could wow <coughs> and that is very very interesting so birthplace is between gender and date of birth birthplace let me run it again see if I get it right date of birth birth no birthplace it moves there so this one is not gonna work uh, we have to rerun the uh, unfortunately I have to read on the um, this uh, command but luckily I had saved it so let me go open it so there we go I have this one right here I'm gonna so I found my script uh, right here and you can see birthplace is between date of birth and gender uh, date of birth and gender birthplace so since when I'm running this what's no cancel okay <coughs> since when I'm running this command if I execute it you can see birthplace is misplaced it should be right here I can drop the table so I can drop the table and then using this um, uh, script I can create my database again oh sorry table again so for the drop I'm gonna type in the whole if I'm not I am in actually let's see for the I'm gonna go back in master and try to drop it from here see if it works or not so if I am to execute, it errored me out. Uh, go 
weird crop or auto statement. So I have to actually go in there. So M MTB is right there. So I have to go in MTB. This is <laughs> bad. Okay. Well, okay, and now I can type drop. Oh no, I sh could. What I'm doing? Drop. What are you dropping? Drop table. And now, even though if I am back in Google, this should work. And it worked. Now I can go actually in employees that will be in um, database this should be gone right here if I right click and refresh and if I go to tables you can see nothing is there now I can go to my script that is right here that is create database okay now I don't have to use this one because database is already created I can just copy this part create table and I can copy it and go here paste it again select it all the way down execute it it has been created now oh it's created in google it should have been created in uh in there in mdb but never mind we just uh we just need to go back in as to use EMPDB so execute it now I'm an EMPDB but I'm gonna just show you that in Google you have the uh, table that is uh, employees that was in Google right just refresh it and tables and you have the employees table right there but we want to create it this inside emptdb uh, can i execute it this way no okay create table so let's go again so i can show you there is no table right here so if i were to execute it it says command completed successfully and i should see if i refresh it in here it should show me the employees table and employees now the fun part if you remember insert command we can use that insert into what um, employees and now we're gonna get the uh, values so we can go with values I think we have to so we have to oh where it is <clears throat> so we have to actually go insert into employees and we want to tell it what we are passing we can type all of these uh, just the names so the easier way is to run a command first to get all the uh, columns name so let's run it execute now it's much easier for me to write it in here so I can see what I'm doing is I'm passing EMPLO comma EMP name gender birth place D 
QB current location designation date of Salary department name. No salary, it's department number. Department name. Date of leaving. Total experience. Total experience manager ID address and finally bonus and then I can close it next I'm gonna give it the values and for the values we're gonna do the one part And that fun part is let's copy the whole row control C if I can see I can paste it here <coughs> and if it works I will be a very very happy person let's go back we see for no. it's the employee number comma name for Ashok we have to make sure Ashok is in single quote comma and M again needs to go in single quote comma Hyderabad is the birthplace and it has to go into quotes and this uh, data it has to it can go like that comma now Hyderabad is current location needs to go like this comma the person is designation is the very important of EB vice per vice uh, whatever this one date so the date goes again like that date of designation was that okay that's the salary salary can go like that then department number 10 okay and department name SLT okay what is by being passed as null date of leaving so date of leaving is null okay date of leaving is null so after date of leaving is total experience is 15 year manager ID is 3 address this is the interesting part it has to go like this awesome and it has to go sorry like that and the bonus goes like that now <coughs> if this successfully gets added I will be very happy let's make it a little bit uh, close so we can see it in one screen okay uh, now moment of truth let's run it execute invalid column name SLT uh, SLT should go that was the uh, I believe department name let's run it one more time Operation and type flash integer is incompatible with date. So 
so we're passing something that should not be and that is date of leaving because as after SLT is by looking to this one right let me do it this way okay let's run it again execute integers are just compare incompatible with date which one that's the date right here but it should be somewhere after that now let's write then execute so date of leaving okay it should be somewhere here name date of leaving date total experience decimal okay so I think I know what the issue is I think this date needs to go like this oh no that's not it that's the date because it keeps saying operator integer is incompatible with date and this date is null and this one is the date format let me run it again with date which date man ah there's another one let's see through trial and error do we get them and one more effect it okay that was the thing you have to put date inside uh, the single code <clears throat> if I run here I should get my row and I got that I have it and it says null as well so that's how you enter um, data into um, your table and that's how you enter the date <laughs> that was crazy now the good thing is now I know I can just copy paste from my Excel into here just do the commas and format it so it's much easier than actually writing it if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one